limits of indeterminate quotients. Evaluate limit of function x to the power of 1 over 6 minus 1 divided by x minus 1 where x approaches 1. Now to evaluate such limits what we should do is plug in 1 here and see what do we get. So if I plug in 1, 1 to the power of anything is 1 and we have 1 minus 1 in the numerator and 1 minus 1 in the denominator that gives us 0 over 0. Now 0 over 0 is not defined in mathematics right so but it gives us a hint that this is in determinate form and it can have a limit as x approaches 1 so there is a possibility to really evaluate it we need to simplify and factor out x minus 1 since x approaching 1 gives us 0 in both numerator and denominator x minus 1 is a factor in both numerator and denominator correct in denominator you can see in numerator we will see okay now let me write here and say x is not equal to 1 1 is not in the domain of this function correct but limit may exist limit is not the value at that point limit is the value which a function is approaching as we approach the limiting value right as you approach 1 if a function approach same value from both the sides then the function has a limit okay now this is kind of a radical factoring such radicals is kind of difficult so we'll introduce you to a technique called substitution of variable right so, so let's remember this technique it is called substitution of variable and I'll have a couple of examples to explain this so what we are trying to do is substitution of variable right and I'll teach you how to substitute one variable with another simplifying the problem so here x to the power of 1 over 6 is the difficult radical to deal with so let's substitute it with another variable let's say x to the power of 1 over 6 be let's say u then in that case what is x equals to x will be equals to u to the power of 6 correct so that is how we can replace x to the power of 1 over 6 and x with another variable u and u to the power of 6 respectively now what happens when x approaches 1 when x approaches 1 then 1 to the power of 1 over 6 will also be 1 so u will also approach 1 so u approaches 1 right so that is another thing so whenever you are substituting a variable with another variable you need to also see limiting value correct so as x approaches 1 u approaches 1 and now we are in a position to make a substitution so we can write this question as let me write it first as original question x approaches 1 x to the power of 1 over 6 minus 1 over x minus 1 where x is not equal to 1 now we are making a substitution which is x to the power of 1 over 6 is u and once we do that as x approaches 1 u approaches 1 so we'll write limit where u approaches 1 and instead of x to the power of 1 over 6 we can write u minus 1 over x is equals to u to the power of 6 right u to the power of 6 minus 1 so now this expression does not have a radical so we have in a way simplified now let's factor it right so we can use difference of cubes or difference of squares to factor this so we have limit u approaching 1 in the numerator we have u minus 1 in the denominator if you treat this as u cube minus 1 or you can also treat this as difference of cubes We'll, we'll, we can do like this also we can treat this as let me write here limit u approaches 1 where numerator is u minus 1 let me write this as first difference of squares okay so I can write this as u q square minus 1 so first I will apply difference of squares and then difference of cubes to factor it okay so I'll do it in two stages 
So if I do difference of squares, then I get u cube minus 1 times u cube plus 1, correct? That gives me u to the power of 6 minus 1, correct? Now, now we'll apply difference of cubes and sum of cubes, correct? To further simplify it, so we can write this as limit u is approaching 1 and in the numerator we have u minus 1, in the denominator we have u minus 1 times u square plus u plus 1 and this can be factored as u plus 1 times u square minus u plus 1, correct? So that is how we can factor difference of cubes and sum of cubes, correct? Now as you can see u minus 1 is a common factor in both numerator and denominator and it can be cancelled thereby simplifying our expression. So we are left with limit u approaching 1 and in the numerator we have 1 and in the denominator we have u square plus u plus 1 times u plus 1 times u square minus u plus 1. Now we can substitute 1 and see what do we get. So we get 1 over 1 plus 1 plus 1. So, right? so that is 3, right? 1 plus 1 plus 1. So we get 3 here. 1 plus 1 is 2. And here we get 1 minus 1 plus 1. That is 1, correct? So we get 1 over 3 times 2, 6. So that is the limit of the given function as x approaches 1. Okay, so I hope you appreciate how we got the answer. Let's get back to it. Since the question, we substituted the limiting value, we got 0 over 0. We know it is in determinate form and this can be solved by simplifying. Now to evaluate this kind of an expression which is kind of radical, we adopted the technique of substitution of variables. So we replaced x to the power of 1 over 6 by u. In that case x is equal to u to the power of 6 and as x approaches 1 u approaches 1. So we need to replace all the x's with u's right in the function and in the limits. Correct? Once you do that then you get a simple expression which can be factored. After factoring we simplify it and then substituted u equals to 1 to get the answer. So the limit is, so our answer is 1 over 6 for the given problem. So whenever you have radicals, try to adopt substitution of variable, correct? So that is kind of very important technique. Let me highlight here for you. That's the substitution technique we adopted, correct? We'll have a few examples to practice this and then you'll have a test on this. Thank you and all the best.